What's up guys, Joe from SRHQ. Today we're gonna to take a look at the WR Case & Sons Copper Lock. This is in the burnt indigo bone covers with the Warren Cliff blade. And just take a look at how great looking this knife is. Really digging it. Here's the box that came in, standard case flag box. We have the pattern is the 549L Copper Lock. Here is the full model number. It is in the True Sharp Stainless Steel, which I believe all of the Copper Locks are in the Stainless Steel. I could be wrong about that, but I believe all of them are in Stainless. And this particular one was produced in 2017. Now this is a very popular knife for Case. It's one of my favorite patterns that they produce. It's been in continuous production for over 20 years. I think they first introduced it in 1997. So any kind of knife design, knife pattern that, you know, a company produces for over 20 years, you know they have to be doing something right. And I can tell you this knife is amazing. It is a mix between two different patterns. It's a mix between a copperhead and a trapper. And they produce this copper lock by morphing the two of those together. It's a large knife. It's over seven inches, just over seven inches total. You got four and a quarter on the handle. You have a three inch blade. Feels really good in the hand. You get a full four finger grip. No complaints. It is a larger size knife, but I like carrying a larger size traditional knife on me. It is a locking knife. It has a mid back lock. Just go ahead and take a walk around this. We have nickel silver bolster. This is the copperhead bolster as well as nickel silver cap. Here is Case's arrowhead shield. Really like the look of that shield. We have brass pins, brass liners, steel backspring, as well as a steel backspacer. Keep in mind this is a locking knife, so from this portion down, it's not a spring. It is simply just a backspacer. Blade's going to open with a long pull, but there's plenty of blades sticking out that you can just pinch it open. And it opens up to this beautiful very aggressive looking Warren Cliff blade. Great for piercing. Look at that tip. It's like an exacto knife. If you need a knife for detail work, for scoring something, maybe leather work, this knife would be great. It's also long enough, you know, for food prep, utility work, just general EDC tasks. Overall, it's just a great blade. It's full flat ground. You have a hand drawn false swedge. Like I mentioned, you have this long pull. Here is the blade marking, Case XX USA with the model number and the stainless steel. It's got really great action. You know, we can't talk about pull weight as we would with a normal slip joint, but it does have a strong snap. It wants to suck into that handle. This blade's not going to accidentally come open in your pocket. And just listen to this click. Just has a really nice positive lockup, no blade play, up, down, side to side, completely solid, really, really great job, case. Take a look inside the knife. These covers are just great looking, this burnt indigo bone. It's got the corn cob jigging on it. You can see we have some light blues going into some really deep dark blues. You have some browns, yellows, greens mixed in. Just really, really attractive looking cover material. Let's talk about the fit and finish. Overall, Case did a really good job on this knife. We'll start with the transitions between the bolsters and the cover. Really smooth transitions. No gapping as well as on the cap. This corn cob jigging and the die job they gave it looks amazing in my opinion. They did a really good job of matching both covers. You can see the bone is pretty even throughout the entire length of the knife. The shield is set in there really nicely. No gapping around it. Brass pins are nice and flush. No gapping in that backspring or the backspacer. 
You can see the cutoff where the spacer comes up and meets the spring. It's just a hair off, you know, a little imperfect, but that's just being nitpicky. You know, it doesn't affect the performance of the knife. But just to show you guys what you can expect. The termination on that backspacer is really nice and straight, but as you can see, the blade centering is a bit off to the left. It's not rubbing, so it's not a big deal. Action's really nice, super smooth on this knife. I love that click, has a really nice positive click. No blade play, up, down, side to side. Really great job. Let's take a look at the grinding. Looks nice and straight on both sides. And like I said, that tip is just amazing. It's like a needle. So aesthetically, I love this knife. I think Case did a really great job with this knife. I love the copperhead bolster, which by the way, if you don't know the point of the copperhead bolster, it actually acts as a sunken joint covering this sharp tang of the knife. So when it's in the closed position, you have a nice smooth transition and that sharp portion is not going to get snagged up on anything. This is my second copper lock. I also have one in the ginger ale winter bottom bone and fit and finish action. Everything is the same between the two knives. This one has the clip point blade, which I think case did a great job on that clip point blade. No complaints whatsoever. It is only available in the True Sharp Steel. You know, a lot of people hate on the True Sharp Steel. They, they talk about it like it's junk steel. I couldn't disagree more. Um, I find the True Sharp Steel to be perfectly adequate. At my job, I probably open 30 to 50 boxes on a daily basis. This means, you know, cutting through the tape, breaking down the boxes at the end, cutting through plastic straps, things of that nature. And, you know, it gets me through my day. And at the end of the day, a couple swipes on the strop and it's right back to razor sharp. So it is a softer steel than, of course, some of your super steels. But in my opinion, it's going to get you through your day. It's really super easy to maintain. You don't have to sharpen this knife. Like I said, just strop it up. It comes right back to razor sharp. So in my opinion, the true sharp is a perfectly adequate steel. No reason to shy away from a knife just because it has this true sharp steel. I find it to be a good steel. That's going to do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Case Copper Lock. I'm really enjoying this knife along with my other Copper Lock. I will be adding more Copper Locks to my collection, and I can highly recommend this knife to you. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you guys want to continue seeing content like this, don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to this channel, and thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.